एवरीवन दिस इज शंतन कुमार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एरोनॉटिकल इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज दुंडिगल हैदराबाद द सब्जेक्ट इज मैट्रिक्स एंड कैलकुलस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑन द डबल इंटीग्रल इन द वेरिएबल कोएफिशिएंट्स दैट मींस वेरिएबल लिमिट्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस द डबल इंटीग्रल व्हेनेवर द लिमिट्स आर कांस्टेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द डबल इंटीग्रेशन the limits are the variables are involved before going to discuss here we need to discuss what is the integral what is the double integral and again what is the definite integral what is the indefinite integral and if possible we need to discuss the fundamental the integration by parts and if the limits are involving in the variables then how to find the solutions here first what is integral the integral is nothing but it is a process of that is anti derivative because integrating is a reverse process of the differentiating that is the meaning of the generally it is called as a integral and here it is a useful to finding the areas values central points and many useful things this is the purpose of the integration conditions and what is the difference between the definite and what is the indefinite integral while we are going to discuss some the integrals are the limits are involving such type of the limits like a finite value sometimes it is a infinite value based upon the finite and infinite that means the limits are sometimes giving and again the upper limit is infinity and lower limit is infinity sometimes it is a finite and based upon the conditions sometimes it is not given that is the meaning of the definite and the indefinite integral and here while we are going to observing here one of the graph is here it is clearly showing the lower limit is it is existed but the upper limit it is a not existed that means it is a open set that means it is called as a indefinite integral that means the lower limit is existed the upper limit it is not a particularly a finite number that means it is a infinite number because of it is a not mentioned the graph is showing like according to like this it is called as indefinite integral that indirectly it is a upper limit is infinity here another graph while we are going to observe here the certain points are clearly it is mentioned it is a lower limit is a and again the upper limit is b here particularly in the given the diagram or curve it is mentioned that upper limit is existed and also the lower limit is mentioned that like that is a meaning of it is a definite integral that means conclusion of this one whenever the limits are given like particularly it is a lower limit and upper limit is a finite number it is a definite integral it is a not a finite that is a indefinite integral that is the meaning of definite versus that is indefinite integral and here what is a double integral actually what is the meaning of double integral the double integral is nothing but it is under the multiple integral that means in the generally it is denoted single and sometimes while we are going to observing like and again other one and again similarly like many number of integral and these are it is a single integral and again other than it is a single it is called as a multiple integral and under the multiple integral here we are going to discuss about on particularly it is a double integral the double integral is nothing but it is a based upon the two integrals and based upon the two integral that integrating you with respect to that is x and y sometimes y and z that is the meaning of under the region that is r square that is the meaning of here integral of a function of two variable over a region in r square is called as a double integration that is the meaning of we need to understand here whenever the limits are under the like uh, whenever the integrals are like two under the region is that is r square is called as a double integral that is a mean if it is a r cube that is the region is under the three variables that is x y z along that that is a triple integrations and similarly any number of integrals but here the region is under the two that is r2 based upon the x y here we need to assume that is either x y or y z order that is the meaning of under the two variables only and here for example the double integral of a function of two variable that means the given function is under the x comma y are the two variable over the region 
r in the r square is the double integration f of x y into a raise r d z b and while we are going to integration the double integration r f of x comma y with respect to dx d this is the meaning of it is a variables are x y that integration is with respect to dx dy sometimes with respect to dx in terms of dy it is dy dx also that depend upon the nature depend upon the integration depend upon the limits we need to discuss that is a dx dy or dy dx when we are going to find out that is a dx with first r dy or dy is a first r dx that depend upon that in generally if the inner limit is that is a dx that means we need to integrating with respect to x and outer that is a dy then we need to integrating with respect to y for example it is a y is a inner that is a integrating with respect to y and again x is a outer that is integrating with respect to dx that means first integrating here dy and again after with respect to that is dx that is depend upon the generally the limits are it is a constants we need to interchange any order it is there is a no changes but in especially cases that depends upon the variable we need to integrating the depend upon the inner side if it is a limits are x then integrating with respect to y that means treated as y and due to that reason integrating with respect to y and after that x now we'll go to discuss today the topic is the double integral with the variable limits in general in the previous section we discussed the double integral whenever the limits are constants by interchanging any order we need to integrating that depend upon you get the solutions and if it is a given particularly x limits are inside you need to integrate and inside is a y then you need to integrating with respect to y that is the condition whenever the limits are constants by interchanging any order we can do the integrating there is no difference in especially the condition whenever the function is discontinuous that the limits are constant sometimes it is not possible like the function is discontinuous that is a dx dy is not equal to dy dx it is a continuous function the dx dy is equal to dy dx okay and today we are going to discuss about on the limits are involving two variable that means the variables are under the x y or y z or something x z that depend upon any different two variables because of we are going to discuss that is a double integral only that is a reason that is a two integrals only which is a involving for example here whenever the y limits are like y1 comma y2 the functions of x and also x1 and x1 comma x2 are the constants that means y1 comma y2 are the functions of x and x1 comma x2 are the limits are constants and and f of x comma y is a first integrating with respect to y keeping x fixed between the limits are y1 comma y2 and then the resulting expression integrating with respect to x within the limits x1 comma x2 that is the meaning of here clearly we are observing the double integration f of x comma y into dx dy here in the above matter given that the double integration here that y limits are in terms of x and y is called upper limit is phi 2 of x that is the meaning of here y the inner limit is uh, x and upper limit is also x that treated as a y that means we need to integrating with respect to y and after the simplification of this totally with respect to y then we need to integrating with respect to x this is the one of the major important role whenever the variables are giving if the limits are in terms of x that you treated as y that means integrating with respect to y and after simplification you need to integrating with respect to x similarly whenever the x1 comma x2 are the functions of y and y1 comma y2 are the constants first f of x comma y is first integrating with respect to x keeping y fixed between the limits are x1 comma x2 and then the resulting expression is integrating with respect to y within the limits y1 comma y2 that is the meaning of here double integration f of x comma y into dx dy 
is equal to that is a x is equal to in terms of y1 like that is a meaning of and again that upper limit is also x in terms of y that is a meaning of here in the above concept the limits integration that x limits are y that means integrating with respect to x and after the simplification of here with respect to x then getting the values we need to integrating with respect to y that is the meaning of here that particularly we need to remember under the variables especially the limits are in terms of x that you need to consider y as then integrating with respect to y and after with respect to x and similarly in this slide it is a uh, limits are in terms of y that is uh, treated as x that means integrating with respect to dx and after that simplification you need to integrating with respect to y that is the uh, major role under the variables or limits are given we need to find the solution under the double integrations for example here integration 0 to 2 and 0 to x here the function is y into dy and also dx while we are going to observing in this problem we need to understand based upon the limits here all the limits are not at all constants here Particularly, the limits are here, one is the limit is 0, the other limit is the upper limit is x and here the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is 2. That means one of the limit is constant, the other limit is a variable. That we need to understand whatever the given the limits are in terms of like variable, you need to observe. Here, the limits are in terms of x. The limits are in terms of x is nothing but we need to assume this particular the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is x is a treated as y and after that assume that y is called 0 and y is called x then we need to integrating with respect to first is a y that means it is a limits are given y we need to integrating with respect to y and after getting that you need to integrating with respect to dx while we are going to do that integrating with respect to y is the first one the integration of y is equal to that is a y square by 2 y square by 2 and the limits are the lower limit is 0 and upper limit is x and again here 1 by 2 take out common and here integration of 0 to 2 that by replacement of upper limit and lower limit the value is x square by 2 minus 0 into 0 already we take out common 2 that is the reason here x square minus z dx and again it is a in terms of x therefore we need to integrate with respect to x your x square integration is x cube by 3 and again here already 1 by d is take out common that is x cube by 3 the limits are that is 0 to 2 and again by replacement of upper and lower after that simplification we obtain that clearly the value is 4 by 3 is a final solution. This is the one simple example whenever the limits are given in terms of x we need to find with the help of this is the clear concept. And similarly we need to assume it is the problem is integration 0 to 5, 0 to x square, x into x square plus y square into dx dy. And here while we are going to observing it is integration is a inside is a dx. But we are not going to do that integrating with respect to x because of if it is a dx is also inside of the function that is a dx that is x variable but we need to observing that what is the limits of in the variable. Given the limits are variable under the x square that means we need to assume these are the limits are particularly y is equal to limits and first one is y and after that x that means here by consider y is equal to 0 the lower limit and upper limit is y is equal to x square and again here that x is a not we need to do that second one that dy is a first one we integrating because of here the limits are given in terms of x that you need to treat it as y and here integration 0 to 5 0 to x square while we are going to integrating here integrating with respect to y it is a x into x square is a constant that you need to integrating with respect to y is a x cube into y and again it is x cube into y 
and again here x into y square here on x is the constant x into y cube by 3 is a integration and here the limits are y is equal to 0 to x square once again here we need to replace the upper limit is y is equal to x square and the lower limit is y is equal to 0 while we are going to replacing that y is equal to x square here x cube into that is x square plus x into x square whole cube by 3 is the lower upper limit the lower limit is y is equal to 0 into dx and again now it is x cube into x square is a x power 5 and again x into x square whole cube is a x power of 7 that means x cube power 5 plus x power 7 by 3 into dx and after that getting that x power 5 again we need to integrate with respect to dx that you obtain that x power of 6 by 6 plus and the second one x power of 7 by 3 is equal to x power of that is 8 by 8 but it is already existed that is already that is a 3 value and this is the integration with respect to x and again after getting this one after applying the integration again we need to replace at x is equal to that is 0 to 5 while we are going to replacing that upper limit and lower limit the value is equal to 5 power 6 by 6 plus 5 power of 8 by 24 is a final solution and similarly the problem is integration 0 to a and integration 0 to root of a square minus x square here function is not given that we need to assume the function is here 1 into dx dy therefore here also while we are going to observe in this problem the limits are in terms of x that means here also same the previous problem we need to assume y is equal to 0 and root of x a square minus x square into y and again therefore we need to integrate with respect to dy and after with respect to dx is the condition here this is the concept of the in given integral is in incorrect form this correct form is after that reinterchanging the dy and also dx here 0 to a and 0 to root of a square minus x square into dy dx and here the one is integration with respect to y is nothing but y and 0 to root of a square minus x square and is equal to 0 to a and root of a square minus x square into dx and here also as we know that integration of a square minus x square formula that is a x by 2 into root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 into sin inverse of x by a the limits are 0 to a and once again after getting this integration we need to replace at x is equal to a the lower limit is 0 by replacement of the upper limit and lower limit the problem is clearly a square by 2 because of it is a first one is replacement of x is equal to a the term is 0 and again that x is equal to a the value is a square by 2 into sin inverse of 1 minus the lower limit is x is equal to 0 that means the first term is totally 0 the second term is also the totally 0 that is based upon the sin inverse 0 like the mean and again here a square by 2 into that is a sin inverse 1 as we know that the value of that is a sin inverse 1 is equal to pi by 2 and sin inverse of 0 is equal to 0 based upon this one the value is a square by 2 into pi by 2 and is equal to after the simplification pi into a square by 4 is a final solution and for example integration 0 to 1 integration minus x to x square into y square into x into dx that is a dy into dx here also the problem is given that directly the variable inner variable is in terms of x that means we need to assume that these are the limits are particularly for y and again the rest of the limits are that is x is equal to 0 to 1 because of here also the inner limits are in terms of x that means we need to assume that y limits and rest of the limits are with respect to dx here while we are going to do that integration with respect to y that integration of y square is the y cube by 3 into x is the constant here x into y cube by 3 that is y is equal to limits are minus x to x square into dx and here also 
by replacement of upper and lower. The problem is here, yq by 3 is a constant, that x is equal to that is x square, and again x square into that is a, y cube is nothing but that is x power 7 by 3, and again plus, that upper lower limit is here, uh, sorry, here we replace that y is equal to that is x square, and again y is equal to that is a minus x. The problem is reduced to x power 7 by 3 plus x power 4 by 3 into dx. And once again, we need to do that integrative with respect to dx. And here, in x 1 by 3 is a constant and x power of 7. That x power of 7 is nothing but x power of 8 by 8, but already existed it is 3, that is x power 8 by 24, plus x power of 5 integration is a x power 5 by, that is 5, already existed 3, that is x power of 5 by, that is a 15. That is the meaning of the solution is x power 8 by 24 plus x power of 5 by 15. The limits are in between 0 to comma 1. Here, once again that upper limit and lower limit, it is a value is 1 by 24 plus that is 1 by 15. Again, that is a 1 by 24 plus 1 by 15. By take out, take the LCM, that is a 1 by 20. And again, that will be a replacement of like a, uh, upper and lower, the value is a 13 by 120 is a final solution. And similarly, the problem is 0 to 3, pi by 3 and 0 to cos y, the function is here x into sin y and dx dy. Here, the problem is the limits are in terms of y. The limits are in terms of y is nothing but we need to consider these are the limits for x is equal to. Because of the variables are in terms of y, we need to assume that these are the limits for particularly x and rest of the limits are y limits. Here, x is equal to 0 to cos y sin y. Now, we need to integrating with respect to first is x and sin y is a constant and x integration is a x square by 2 into sin y x square by 2 into sin y, integration limits are 0 to cos y into dx and here by replacement of it x is equal to that is a cos y, the lower limit is 0, the value is a cos square y into sin y minus 0 because of that 0 into sin y is a 0 and here 1 by 2 take out common cos square y into sin y, the integration by taking the sin y is a t and again cos y into dy is a dt the t square, the t square integration is a t cube by 3 is a solution. And we assume that t is equal to that is a sin y, therefore that is equal to minus 1 by 6 into cos cube y. Here the li limits are 0 to pi by 3 by replacement of that is a y is equal to pi by 3 and lower limit is y is equal to 0, the clearly the value is equal to 7 by 48. And similarly, evaluate integration 0 to a and 0 to root of a square minus x square, the problem is y into x square plus y square into dx dy. And here also the limits are in terms of y. In terms of x means iterated as a y, the rest of the limits are x limits. Based upon this one, first we are going to discuss the integration with respect to y. Here x square is the constant, y integration is y square by 2. And again, y into y square is a y cube. That y cube integration is y power 4 by 4. That is the integration of the first part. And after that integration, while we are going to replacement of upper and lower, that is 0 to root of a square minus x square. That is upper limit is root of a square minus x square. The lower limit is 0. That here squaring on both sides means that root is a cancel. That a square minus x square. And second one, y power 4 that a square minus x square whole power 4 is a a square minus x square whole square by 4 into dx. Again, we need to integrating with respect to x. While we are going to do that, here it is some different, that is a a square into that x square by 2 minus x power 4 by 4, 2 plus here after that expansion of a square minus x square whole square with the help of a minus b whole square, as we know that by using the formula, here after the simplification, we obtain like this. And here also, next we need to do that integrating with respect to x. That means a square by 2 
take out common and again x cube by 3 minus 1 by 2 take out common x power 5 by 5 plus a power 4 by 4 the remaining term is 1 the integration of 1 is nothing but it is x and here 1 by 4 take out common x power 5 by 5 minus 2a square by 4 into x cube by 3 that solution is like this. Now again we need to replace the lower limit is 0 the upper limit is a a. While we are going to discuss or like a replacement of at x is equal to upper limit is a and lower limit is 0 here by replacement of 1 by 1 this is the upper limit and lower the value is a clearly a power pi by 5 is a final solution. Now we need to discuss one more similarly that integration 0 to 1 and root integration x2 root x that x y into x plus y into dx dy and here the limits are in terms of x that means treated y is equal to x root x and again the rest of the limits are we need to assume that x is equal to 0 to 1 and based upon here by consider like this we need to interchange from that dx dy to that is a dy dx because of the inner limits are in terms of y and again the upper limit is x is equal to 0 to 1. First we need to integrate with respect to y by doing here y integration is y square by 2 y square integration is y cube by 3. The limits are here x2 root x and again here while we are going to replace y is equal to upper limit is root x and lower limit is root x the solution is integration 0 to 1 x square into that is x because of that y is root x y square is a x that is the meaning of x square into x by 2 plus x into that y is equal to root x and y cube is a x power of 3 by 2 minus the lower limit is y is equal to x that is a x into x square by 2 plus x into x cube by 3 into dx and again here after the simplification 1 by 1 you obtain x cube by 2 plus x power 5 by 2 plus by 2 3 minus 5 by 6 into x power 4 into dx. Now again we need to replace that integration with respect to x here that is x cube by 2 that is x power 4 by that is 8 plus 1 by 3 is take out common x power 7 by 2 because of x power 5 by 2 the integration is x power 5 by 2 plus 1 by 5 by 2 plus 1 that is x power 7 by 2 by 7 by 2 minus x power 5 by 6 into x power 5 by 5 the limits are in between 0 to 1. Here the upper limit is replaced and lower limit the upper limit is x is equal to 1 and lower limit is x is equal to 0 the value is clearly after the simplification 3 by 56 is the final solution. These are the some example clearly whenever the under the double integral the variables are under the like x or y we need to do the give the priority like this that means whenever the limits are in terms of x that we need to assume that is a y and again integrating with respect to y and after integrating with respect to x. Similarly the limits are in terms of x that we need to assume that y integrating with respect to y and after integrating with respect to x. These are under the double integration whenever the limits are under the variable coefficient. For example, here also the problem is based upon the concept it is a limits are it is a in terms of x that means treated as y and again here the limits are x remaining the term. But here integrating with respect to y it is inside is y therefore this is clearly satisfied it is in the correct form. Then directly we need to do that first integrating with respect to y that means integration of y by x is nothing but e power of y by x into y by x. That means integration of e power ax into dx is equal to that is e power of ax by a is a form. And here a is equal to that is y by x that is the meaning of here based upon that here you obtain upper and lower limit we obtain like this and after that again integrating with respect to x here 1 by x comes to numerator that is x into d e power x minus x into dx and here x into e power x minus 1 is the integration is a clearly e power a like uh, by using this one 
integrating by parts and Bernoulli formula, we obtain clearly one by one integration by replacement of upper and lower, you obtain the value. This is the, and again, after that model, one more modifications, that is three in d power four minus seven is the final solution. Here, the problem is integration zero to a, zero to root of a square minus x square, and root of a square minus x square minus y square into dy dx. And here also the limits are under the x. That means we need to assume y limits and rest of the limits are we need to a. For example, the given limits are in terms of y. We need to assume that x integrating with respect to x. But in this problem, clearly the variables are under x that treated as y. And after the simplification, we need to integrate with respect to x. Here, that is the meaning of here by taking that root of a square integrating first with respect to y, that means from here a square minus x square is a constant that you need to treat it as root of a square minus x square whole square because of as we know that in the previous problem like inter square root of a square minus x square into dx. Like based upon this formula we need to apply that is a x by 2 into square root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 into like that. That is the meaning of here x by 2 root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 into sin inverse of x by a is the formula. By using this formula, when we are going to replace in this, it is a is nothing but root of a square minus x square and x is the in branch of that is a y. By using this formula, we need to replace this one and after that, we need to replace it to y is equal to that is root of a square minus x square by replacement of 1 by 1 the matrix is reduced to like uh, the in integration is reduced to integration x equal to 0 to a a square minus x square by 2 into pi by 2 into dx and after that again we need to integrate with respect to x that means here pi by 4 is a constant that is integration of a square minus x square into dx here again the integration of a square is a a cube by 3 minus x square integration is a x cube by 3 and again the limits are in between 0 to a while we are going to discuss replacement of at x equal to a x equal to a upper limit and lower limit therefore the integration final solution is pi in dA cube by 6 is the final solution and similarly for example this is also the limits are under the x that treated as y, the rest of the limits are treated as x and here it is a dy means that is other term is 1 plus x square. This 1 by 1 plus x square we need to consider root of 1 plus x square whole square plus y square and again here 1 by already we know the formula here 1 by x square plus a square integration is a 1 by a into tan inverse of x by a. That is the meaning of 1 by x square plus a square into dx is equal to 1 by a into that is a tan inverse of x by a. By using this formula, we need to replace here the limits are y is equal to 0, the upper limit is root of 1 plus x square. By replacement of 1 by 1, 1 by 1, we obtain the clearly the solution 1 by root of 1 plus x square tan inverse 1 minus tan inverse 0. As we know that the tan inverse 1 is the value is a tan pi by 4 minus tan inverse 0 is nothing but that is a tan 0. By using these values here the solution is pi by 4 it is a problem. Otherwise by using the integration part this is also the final solution. These are the based upon the problems we need to understand clearly whenever under the double integration the limits are like that uh, vary, like x comma y we need to understand first of all the limits are under the x that x is the limits are the variables are considered like y and integrating with respect to y and after that x. The limits are for example in terms of y that you need to assume that x then integrating with respect to x then after that integrating with respect to y. These are the clearly the processors for the under that is a double integration the variables and similarly like any number of problems are given we need to do that according to like this is the processor. For example, like see for example 
the problems are like this we here these are the limits in terms of x means these are treated as y and rest of the treated as x and in this problem also y is equal to x square and x is equal to 0 to 4 then integrating with respect to dy and after that with respect to dx and here also integrating with respect to dy and after with respect to dx then the solutions are clearly for first one e power 4 minus 2 e square plus 1 by 2 and again similarly 3 in d power 4 minus 7 is a solution we need to practice and again we get the solutions if any problems we need to check it and similarly here also the problem is y and again x and here also y it is x because of these are the inner limits are like that we need to integrate with respect to y and after that x and y up to here and again integrating with respect to x here also we get the solutions are by solving that one by one that is one is a one by six second one is a three by one ten is a solutions and here also y is equal to and x is equal to y is equal to and x is equal to it is with respect to dy with respect to dx with respect to it is a dy and after that with respect to x that we need to interchange in this problem in this second problem the solutions are pi by 4 log 2 3 by 35 similarly just now we discuss these are the two problems also in this session only we obtain that clearly these are the problem check it pi a cube by 6 thank you any more further Required, we need to discuss. In the next session, we need to discuss, like in the last session, we discussed the limits are under the constants, and today class we discuss the variables. And in further next class, we need to discuss based upon the limits are not given, then how to find that? That means based upon the given equations, then we need to find the limits and find the integration under the double integration. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.